This week, we present a special preview of the first Death Saving Bros. Lore episode, available exclusively on Patreon. Did you ever wonder what happened before the story? What events helped our adventurers become the people that they are today? Join us as we explore the history of the Hammerbottom Brothers and the fateful night that changed their lives forever. This is an episode of the Death Saving Bros lore. I am your narrator, Paul Camper, and today we are exploring the backstory of Brixius and Ambionitis Hammerbottom. The tragic past. Brixius and Ambionitis Hammerbottom were born to their parents, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the small uh, Steve 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 I had it perfect the first time Steve 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 My name's Steve 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 My name's Steve <laughs> To parents Steve Dimitop and Taylor Hammerbottom <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> literally the worst story ever told. <laughs> oh, really? You mean Sanchez's story was better? Dude, no. Sanchez's story might have been a little bit better. It's the story of our life we never told. <laughs> Mother Taylor Hammerbottom was the leader of the Hammer tribe, just south of South Salt and the Salt Mine Valley. Their father, Stifa, wore a... <laughs> stop it. You gotta stop over there. <laughs> wore a 10-gallon hat at all times. And he was the owner and operator of the Hammer Dome, the local fighting ring, where all manner of creatures would be brought for entertainment and exercise. Your dad hosted a dog fight ring. <laughs> <laughs> On the day Brixius was born, he was a healthy, straight-sighted, young half-orc baby. And his brother, Ambionitis, came out with a full head of hair and a deep voice. Wow. His mother and father were so proud. Sons, as the owner and operator of the Hammerbottom Hammer Dome, I am proud of you. Goo goo. Ga ga. I think he's going to grow to be a wonderful baseball player. And for the first few years of their life, Ambionitis and Brixius were brought up in true fashion of half-orc etiquette. As the sons of the leader of their tribe, they were being taught all manner of fancy things in order to be able to lead the tribe one day. For example, Brixius was beginning his lessons on how to read. He was being taught how to read signposts and trade agreements with the local miners. Father, I know you deal more <laughs> with the trading than Mother does. What exactly do these symbols over here mean exactly? How should I interpret said symbols? Well, son, see right up here. Right there, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> it says Hammerdome. Those are the most important words you ever need to know. Thanks, Father. I appreciate you so much. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. And Ambionitis, one year, Brixius's younger brother, was being taught all sorts of weaponry and athleticism. Now remember here, son. While wielding this great sword, you must swish and flick the shit out of it. <laughs> 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 oh, got you now, you fucker. <laughs> yes, mother. 
and I also remember the breathing techniques you told me while swishing and flicking. Every time you swish, you go, ah. They're coming along very nicely, Mother. Thank you. And this was only when he was but four years old. He was already an accomplished half-orc soldier. Oh, he is my t- proudest little soldier. But all good things must come to an end. And one day, as they sat as a family out among the stars, looking out among their village and contemplating their place in the universe, the worst happened. The full episode is available now at patreon.com slash death saving bros.